Scientists were scurrying all over the world to find fossils. What they found was something amazing, something that will blow your socks off. Scientists found a fossil leading back to over 490 million years ago. The fossil is said to be the very beginning of Phylum Agridermata, a problem that stretches over the sea in a majority of ways. You'll get a first class ticket seeing how they work, but before we decide to make your brain explode from knowledge that we're about to tell you, you're going to need some basic facts. Alright, Phylum Echidermata consists of starfish, sea lily, sea urchin, sea cucumbers, and sand dollars. Most of these have radial symmetry. Here's something interesting, most of them do not have a brain, but they do have nerve nets, which are their basic sensory organs. They normally have organ systems, like basic digestive tracts. Different echinoderms acquire food in different ways. Some hunt, some filter feed, and others scavenge. When they do get this food, they do not have excretory systems, so they secrete waste from their skin. Think about that when you pick up a starfish. When an echoderm wants to reproduce, it can do it sexually by spraying sperm and eggs into the air, or asexually by transverse fission, which is when the animal splits into two pieces. When echoderms are inside the egg, the embryo develops into the anus. Are you ready for your mind to blow up? Starfish is the most known echinoderm. Why? They're amazing, of course. Starfish can grow up to 40 arms with an eye on each arm. How can something so small feed all of these arms? A starfish is a hunter and has a mouth in the middle of it. This star doesn't eat crabby patties like Patrick, but they'll eat clam, oysters, sponges, etc. After they eat their digestive tracts, take three, two to three hours to digest their sim unsimple foods. Its spiny skin allows for starfish to filter feed for simple foods. Starfish might seem a little heartless, but that is because they don't have a true heart. Starfish have tubes of fluid in each arm that meet up in the middle. Puking is only something humans can do when they are sick, but when a sea cucumber feels threatened, it can puke out its entire digestive tract through its butt. A sea cucumber's mouth has 8 to 30 tubes that allow it to gather teeny food particles, example algae. As, a, as I said earlier, a sea cucumber feels threatened, it can rapidly poop out its organs to save itself. A sea cucumber can shoot out sperm and eggs into the water to reproduce sexually. It can even rep reproduce asexually through transverse fission. Even though a sea cucumber can poop out organs, its real waste is only a special type of sand that is said to be the main thing keeping coral from becoming extinct. A sea cucumber might amaze you, but a sand dollar is what will blow you away. Over 60% of the world collects dead animals. Sand dollars are highly collectible and are over collected. Sand dollars have thousands of little feet that allow them to move slowly, and they have specially lined plates on the outside that act as armor. This armor has a hole in it for the mouth in the middle. A sand dollar eats exactly like a sea urchin's, and it wastes out through the same way as sea urchins do too, through the pores on its skin. If you're unhappy yet, maybe the flowers in the sea can put some joy to your day. Sea lilies are mostly known as the flowers of the sea. These flowers are attached to the sea floor with a mouth on the top of themselves. These sea lilies have small arms that help them the lily filter feed into its mouth. They get rid of waste by pores through their skin. They can reproduce sexual by releasing sperm and eggs into water and can reproduce another way asexually. If this isn't blowing your mind, then you're brain dead. The final class of echinoderms are sea urchins. Sea urchins are nearly as well known as starfish and they are similar to most echinoderms and share many of the same characteristics like a d basic digestive tract and mouth. They do not have a way to excrete waste other than through pores. Sea urchins are fed by many different animals which lead them to needing a defense mechanism. The sea urchins use a combination of spines and toxins. It puts the spines to a threat and ejects its toxins. So, echinoderms are amazing and beautiful creatures. We hope you can enjoy them yourselves. They are found mostly in deep oceans, but you can find some in shallow waters. I hope you enjoyed yourselves, and I certainly hope you're still alive and not bored to death.